What's going on, everybody? Back to the 8.6 cart. I know I've been going back and forth and back and forth, but this car is basically done. So that's good. Just like two more things that are tiny and a windshield, which is kind of big, but not that much fun to watch it install. I got a bunch of parts for this as if I didn't previously have a ton of parts for it, but now I have a ton more parts. Um, we're going to be putting the 4-3 uh, final drive ratio ring and pinion in there. And this right here has caused me a lot of trouble. I've been trying to find one of these for like two weeks straight. Toyota doesn't make them anymore. Nobody sells them anywhere. And I got this off of the front differential of a Toyota truck. You guys know the secret, but luckily there's like 12 of you that watch my videos. So like, we'll keep it, we'll keep it tight. But yeah, I had to ride my bike down to my motorcycle. Now I'm not a bicycle. I'm not, I'm not a fucking loser. I had to ride my bike down to Denver to pick these up. And it looks like it'll work. So we're going to be assembling that fuel system parts some wheel spacers need need to run the wheel spacers to work with these tiny wheels and my angle mods uh, a lower control arm for the driver's side somewhere uh, wheelwood brake master or clutch master for the hydro e-brake some new brake pads I don't know what else there's a ton of parts oh we got some we got some racing harnesses, uh, G-Force harnesses, and got a new oil filter. That's cool. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Let's get to it. So here's all the parts. Uh, most of this was already torn apart, so not much to show you there. Uh, we got new bearings for everywhere. So I gotta pull these bearings off, pull the outer races out from there. Uh, these are used to set, um, I think it would be the backlash, like where this sits left to right. Got this, boom, boom. Uh, I think this is a 4-3 ratio, so it should be pretty fucking sweet. Uh, new oil seals for the front, and we're going to throw it all together. So now since when I got the, when I got the car, it didn't come with a pinion shaft at all. Um, therefore, it didn't have a pinion washer. So I need to press this bearing on and then measure the, let's see, I think there's a diagram here. Yeah, I need to measure the pinion depth, which is that there. And then I need to figure out what shim I need to go there. So I need to press the bearing on and then I'm gonna have to press the bearing off and put on the proper shim. Um, but I was able to get a measurement. Uh, I mocked this up and I got a measurement for the drive shaft so I can get that ordered. And then I'm gonna press this on so I can get that ordered. And then I can work on something else while I'm waiting on this. So I got this lower control arm bolted in. Um, as you, if you were wondering how to do that, I have an install video on putting S13 front suspension on the front of an AE86. Uh, so go check that out if you're interested. Uh, now I'm gonna pull a hub that I have on another knuckle and toss that on, then I can toss the brakes on and all that. And then put a wheel on this. So I cut this out of some, I think it's 063 aluminum, something around there. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to try to find a local shop that can put a bend in it need a big old sheet metal brake for that. Um, but I cut this side with the table saw that is in the wood room. It's awful, absolutely terrible. Uh, this side I cut with the band saw and then cleaned up the cut with the flap disc. And then this is just fresh band saw cut. Still need to clean that up with a flap disc. But it will sit about, oh, and by the way, that is for the bin. Keep the bin uncovered. But boom, boom, and then it'll fold down. I think it'll be pretty nifty. On this side, I'm going to put this uh, 
this little gauge cluster here. Doesn't look like much, but it's a digital gauge cluster. And then I got something cool planned for that side that you guys will see. So I got the fittings and lines for the fuel system. Um, I had to make this one uh, using the fitting from the fuel pump welded to the 6AN fitting, which is a random weld bung that I had. Just chopped the 10AN that was there off on the lathe and did that. Um, so then basically everything is going to be right here. And lines like that. So I made this little adapter to fit the math. It fits in there like perfectly snug. Um, like actually it's kind of tight to get in there. So I'm probably not even gonna use the bolts. Uh, I'm gonna grind off that edge right there so that we can get a nice flat weld surface right there. And then this will just be simple 90 to the throttle body and air filter on the end. So here's the math tube. Uh, pretty simple and basically just gonna sit that stupid, stupid radiator in my way. No, nope, radiator doesn't want to go out of the way, but it's basically gonna sit like that, you know, without the radiator there. Like that, a little air filter down there. It'll work. So I'm trying currently to find which wire is which for the MAF. Because I ordered this MAF plug with the pins. Super legit way to do it right here. Uh, but since this came cut, I have no idea what's what. So I'm hitting up some A86 or Beams people more specifically. See if anybody can send me a picture of that. So now I'm going to be throwing on the aftermarket uh, four link bars. I went with the unequal lengths uh, just, you know, due to some simplicity, trying to stick to a little budget here for this build. Um, so you want to make sure the lengths match the factory ones. Um, that's just to help you put it in because I'm only putting one in at a time so the rear end doesn't fall, or, fall around or anything. Um, and then on a vehicle like this, it's pretty low compared to stock. Um, you'd probably want to lengthen the, the uppers or shorten the lowers depending on how all your, uh, how your drive shaft is and everything else like that just to get a good uh, pinion angle. So here are those fully installed. I uh, just need to tighten up the bolts, torque those all down. Um, I don't have an adjustable uh, pan hard bar, which I may be getting, I'm not sh totally sure yet, but these will give me a little bit of adjustment. Those will help with uh, wheel hop is one thing those help with, which we'll see if that's an issue to be determined. So my buddy Brandon Wing hooked it up with a wiring diagram for this. So that's good to go. Uh, got them all pinned perfectly using my fancy tool right here. This is the best thing in the world. If you don't have one, you should definitely get it. I have no idea what it's called, but they work great for doing that. Um, so I'm still waiting on the pipe and stuff for that, um, but this is all good to go and we can move on. I just got the tie rods installed and uh, these are S14 tie rods which fit to the A86 inner tie rods. Um, I'm not sure what the inner tie rods are off of. There's a short one and a long one. Uh, these are obviously the long ones. And with those and the S14 outer tie rod, it lines up basically perfect and threads right in. It's basically stock, stock replacement type setup pretty solid. Um, you could also go with an aftermarket A86 inner, uh, like a Megan or anything like that, and that would be a decent upgrade as well. So now I'm going to be repairing the shifter bracket uh, because when I got the engine, it was broken like this, however this guy goes. Um, I'm not going to bevel those beforehand. I'm going to tack them in place uh, just because I want them to line up perfectly. So we're probably gonna tack them in place, check that the fitment is good, weld them up, and then also weld some sort of brace from here to there, some sort of gusset of 
Swords, maybe use that right there. Some scrap. Perfect. So here's the first gusset welded in, um, and then this one's just tacked in place. Uh, the welds aren't perfect, but it's some dirty cast and some dirty random scrap, so good enough for me. Uh, I'm gonna let it cool because it's really hot, and then probably run that bead and then run the side beads. Um, and then I'm gonna clean up the edges with the flap disc right there. These, I've said it before, always say it, this is the best thing you can do for shaping aluminum. If you have to shape it, otherwise cutting it with a bandsaw or similar is the go-to. Here's the finished product. Welded inside and out on all of those. Uh, I don't think that's going to be breaking ever again, so that's that's good. Got the passenger seat, all the mounts made, just need to weld those up. Uh, pretty solid. This is similar to that side, um, but that side has the tube up front and low mounts in the rear because it's got the slider, so we needed all the space we could get. This one is down by like a three quarters of an inch from the get-go, so we didn't even bother getting rid of the little tunnel thing there this is halfway out but I broke my spot weld cutter which sucks I've never broken one of these before and I bought this one and it broke almost instantly and I stopped by a uh, lovely creator space right down the street from here a little bit south and they hooked it up with this thing it is a it's a acrylic, basically plaque, I guess you could say. Uh, it's laser laser cut edges and then laser etched on the logo. And then I just filled it in with some, uh, some red paint, the same red paint that I'm going to be using for the whole car. Um, so this guy is going, I don't want to drop it or scratch it. Got to be really careful with, got to be really care, careful with acrylic. It scratches really easily, but that's going right there. Uh, once I, I'm gonna hit the whole dash with a DA just to give it a nice uniform finish and hide any scratches that it has. But that'll be mounted right there, so everybody can know who built this sweet little thing. So up next, I'm going to be modifying the exhaust manifold. Uh, it needs to be able to clear the steering column or the steering shaft, and needs to go to a downpipe and go to the exhaust and stuff. Um, but I'm going to be covering that in my next video. I feel like cutting it off now seems about right. This video might be getting kind of long. I don't really know. I haven't edited it yet. Edited it. Anyways, stay tuned for the next video. Coming soon. Subscribe. Comment. Like. Different order than I usually do. Switch it up on you guys. What's up?